Loathing? What are you doing here? Are you... crying? No! Shut up! I'll kill you! Sweet zombie star swirl, you are! Aw, aw, come here, buddy. It'll be okay. Touch me with those hooves, and I'll relieve you of the burden of having hooves. Okay. So, uh, what's wrong, exactly? They took her from me. The most perfect, evil, cruel, heartless monster of them all. And they took her away. Angel Bunny's a girl? I... What? No! No, you idiot! Sunset Shimmer! I'm talking about Sunset Shimmer! What were the chances she'd find some pony as bright as me to take under her wing after I decided to leave Equestria? Bit embarrassing that you were the best she could do. Oh! But, uh, she's not a villain anymore. She's a good guy now. Pretty much an honorary member of the main six. I know! They took the greatest villain in MLP history and made her into another reformed wussy hero. Sunset, the greatest villain. The girl whose brilliant idea of framing someone was to cut out photos of Twilight and literally glue them on top of others. This is where we're setting the bar for MLP excellence. Hey, it worked, didn't it? Let's not talk about that. Exactly. You may call her plan stupid, but they worked. Sunset actually was one of the more clever baddies the show had ever created. Other characters like Sombra, Chrysalis, or T-Rex all had massive amounts of power at their disposal. But Sunset? She gave all of her magic up when she crossed over into the human world. She built up her own personal reign of power, not through the use of brute force, but clever tactics. Nearly every other villain the show has had were only threats in the sense that they were physically stronger than the heroes. Sunset was the first that wasn't, and yet she still posed a serious threat. It's the fault of Equestria girls for not properly showing just how well Sunset manipulated an entire school to her personal reign long before acquiring the Tiara Ex Machina. Sure, but Sunset was so... bland. So dull. The movie played her off as being evil for evil's sake, only to suddenly do a 180 turnaround so fast at the end that it's amazing no one got whipflash. Again, fault of the movie, not the character. Characters like Tirek or Sombra, they were evil just because they were evil. Which, don't get me wrong, it's pretty great. But not Sunset. She had a reason. Celestia pushed her to become evil by denying her the access to the power she felt she deserved. Yeah, but it was a power that she wasn't ready for and couldn't handle. Celestia clearly isn't worried about her pupils gaining power, nor is she afraid to put them into dangerous situations. It wasn't like she was holding Sunset back out of fear of something happening to her. Celestia knew that the girl was becoming greedy and power-hungry. Celestia was trying to protect both her kingdom and likely Sunset herself. And we all see how well that turned out. Sunset was driven to chase her own destiny. Is she selfish and careless? Sure. But she's also determined and focused. She knows what she wants and she will not let anything stop her. She had character. It just was not allowed to show through. Okay, maybe, just... Maybe there was a deeper character hidden within the depths of an animated movie that didn't have the greatest writing ever put to paper. But there's no denying that she had a vast improvement once she changed from evil to good, what's called a heel face turn. Says who? You say she was generic evil, but I say she became generic good. The only reason fans flocked to her was because the animators went out of their way to make her bouncy and cute. Not unlike how they went out of their way to make her dark and sinister in the last film? That was different. How was that any different? She was pretty hot like that. 
Dude, I'm pretty sure she's underage. And we're talking cartoon horses. What's your point? Ugh. Anyway, the point is, all of the characterization that you're talking about is exactly what Sunset got in the second film. Here, we see that she is trying to make up for her past mistakes. That she wants to be a good friend and maybe even a better person. But she's not sure as to how. The other main characters may have forgiven her, but the school as a whole hasn't. And this does play into that characterization that you say the first film alluded to. Determination, focus, and drive. She just lost the selfishness, but it was replaced by other important flaws like self-doubt and even a little meekness. She becomes a more developed character, only this time the film manages to show us this instead of just alluding to it. When it shows it, you mean. At least in the first film, Sunset played an active role. She was always doing something, always trying to outmaneuver Twilight, using her knowledge about this world to her advantage. In Rainbow Rock, Sunset spends most of the time just being there. It's not until the very end that she steps up to take an actual part in the film. You could easily just remove her from the entire movie, and the vast majority of it would not need to be changed. I don't think it was meant to be the main focus, though. Sunset's retribution was more of a side story. And yet, it keeps getting the spotlight over and over and over. Sunset barely gets a line in this film that isn't alluding to the fact that she used to be evil but isn't now. I can understand this being a secondary focus, sure, but don't keep bringing it up if nothing's going to be done with it until the last 15 minutes. At least it's something that got attention. Last time her I just wanted friends thing came out of nowhere. Yeah, well... Good guys shouldn't get to wear studded leather jackets. You haven't earned the right to look that cool. I, um, I think we kind of lost the point of this debate, huh? <sighs> yeah, my heart just isn't in it tonight. I don't even feel up to beating you to death with a pull cue. I mean, I'm going to, but it's just not going to be as fun as it should be. Ah, uh, you know, maybe we could just... Get you a new romantic interest. Uh, what about Chrysalis? She was pretty evil, and she's a queen. No, I think she's pretty much dead after that. Sombra? Also evil. Also royal. Also dead. Discord? Reformed. Tyrick? Pony hell. Um, the maniac? She's fiction. What kind of loser nerd pines after a fictional character, anyway? Wait. Wait, who is that? No one. No one. D don't, don't worry about that. Totally not my horse waifu or anything. I don't, I don't have action figures of her who said I did. No, no. I recognize that face. That's Nightmare Moon. Yeah, that is the pony that nearly killed the entire planet with a never-ending night. Ooh. Yeah, now that is evil. Yeah, well, you're out of luck. She isn't Nightmare Moon anymore. She's reformed. Bah, no matter. Once you've tasted evil, you always come back for more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this could work. Just a little convincing, and I could easily turn her into a bad girl again. <laughs> oh, Nightmare Moon, you and I are going to... Nobody hurts. The princess. Um, where did you get that armor? <laughs> Late night shifts at Canterlot. Stay pony, my friends.